Hello, this is Tori with Landio. I'm very excited to bring you this 40 acre wooded mountain home site with electricity that is just over a mile from the 6,400 acre Spanish Peak State Wildlife Area. This is an actual view from the property of the West Spanish Peak. And then to the west, you can see the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. It's about 1.3 miles to the west boundary of the 6,400 acre Spanish Peak State Wildlife Area. This area is rich in native wildlife. There was fresh animal tracks and droppings on the property. There's hunting in the area for mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk, antelope, wild turkey, pheasant, scaled quail, cottontail rabbit, and waterfowl. One of the things I really love about this property is the way that it is laid out. This is a Google Earth terrain view. Right now we're east of the property looking west. So this is the east boundary. This is the north boundary, west boundary, south boundary. And you've got great access. This road runs through the property. There are electricity lines and poles along this road already in place. You have the varied terrain with areas of dense, mature ponderosa pines. You've got rock outcroppings. And then you also have these meadows that they're tucked in here in these multiple locations, which would be you know great building spots. All along here, you have got one tucked over here, another one over here. And if we go south of the property looking north, you've got the Spanish Peaks there. And you can see that several of the nearby landowners have built on their properties. You've got this person right here to the north. You have another person right here to the east. And sometimes what they'll do is they'll either you know, cut a road up and build on top of the ridge, or they'll kind of build at the bottom of the ridge. Then we have another person that built right here to the northeast. So they went all the way on top of the ridge. Looks like they cleared some of that off. And if you look, you'll see there's people all around here that have built homes, cabins. They have ranches, accessory buildings mobile homes and this little clearing here that you'll see all throughout this area as you zoom out that's a gas well so there's gas well on a lot of these properties now there's not a gas well on this property there's a gas well to the west which is what this road is there's an easement for the gas company to get to this well so they have already built and they maintain this road that runs through the property and then brought in the electric so that is an expense that's already taken care of. And then they have an easement for this road and the gas pipeline that goes underneath it. So this road is maintained by the gas company and allows you great access through the property. Just to give you an idea of how many nearby landowners have developed their properties, here we have the majority of the nearby developed properties circled. And what's great about this property is there are no covenants or restrictions. There's no HOA or POA. There's no assessments or association fees. And we'll look at some closer satellite image of these nearby developed properties. So the minimum square foot for dwelling in Los Angeles County is only 600 square feet. You have a lot of flexibility with the building type. So you can do a tiny home, a cabin, a mobile home, manufactured home, an earthship home. You can have a shipping container home, a barn dominium, accessory buildings. You can use the property recreationally with an RV or a camper or even just a tent. And this image right here shows you just how great the access is. So this is County Road 31.9, which is only about a mile east of the property. So from County Road 31.9, you're going to turn west onto Hot Ranch Road, and you're just going to take this over to the property right here. So this is an intersection of Hot Ranch Road and County Road 31.9, looking west down the road that leads to the property. And you can see there you have underground telecommunication lines. Mail is delivered out to the area. And many of these landowners live here on a full-time basis. And there's a closer view of that intersection. And this County Road 31.9 takes you directly to State Highway 12 in the town of Weston. From that intersection to State Highway 12, it's only 8.7 miles. And then in Weston, you'll find a United States post office and a general store called Weston Supply. And this is an image of Highway 12 looking west. And there you have the County Road 31.9 where you'll head then north to the property. These are recent photos of the property. This is an aerial image. From here, we're looking to the east. You can see this is the clearing that's along the southeast portion of the property. And here's an image of the road with the electricity lines and poles. This is an image of one of the open meadows. And here's another level clearing that's surrounded by you know, dense mature trees. This is an amazing photo. So here we are looking towards the north at the Spanish Peaks. All this you see right here, this is all part of the property, this ridge that's to the north of the road. Here is the neighbor to the north on the other side of the ridge. We'll look at a closer image of his 
property there. This is the neighbor to the north. You can see they have a nice log home with accessory buildings, a barn. This is a great photo showing just how dense the trees are on some portions of this property. So this is the road. Now we're north of the road. We're looking south. So this is going to be the south portion of the property, the southern ridge. Just look at how beautiful those trees are. You can see this was taken just a few weeks ago. The leaved trees have you know completely changed color for the season along with the natural grasses. But just look how bright green this is. And this is a closer image of that ridge with those dense mature pine trees. There's some great geological features on the property, rock outcroppings and rock formations. And the views are just incredible. So in addition to being only about a mile from the Spanish Peak State Wildlife Area, you're also surrounded by national forest. Then there's national parks and BLM land nearby. There's also a school up in this area, the Primero Elementary School, which is only about a little over 12 miles from the property just along Highway 12. Then just a little further east of that, you'll find a butcher, groceries, fuel at this Ringo's Trading Post, which has a ton of good reviews. That's also along Highway 12. And you're about 28 miles to the Trinidad Lake State Park. You have an 800 acre lake there for fishing, water sports. Then you're just over 30 miles to Trinidad, which has a population around 10,000. In Trinidad, you'll find shopping, dining, medical care. There's a Walmart Supercenter there for supplies, groceries. Just a little over an hour to Walsenburg, Colorado. Just two hours to Pueblo, which has a population over 100,000. The Great Sand Dunes National Park is only about two and a half hours from the property. About two hours and 40 minutes to Colorado Springs, and Colorado Springs has a population around 440,000. And then you're about three hours and 45 minutes to Denver, Colorado. We have this amazing 40-acre wooded mountain home site with electricity and great road access. Priced at just $59,000. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are only about $465 a year for the entire 40-acre parcel. And then here are distances and links to additional information for the nearby points of interest that we pointed out. We have the GPS coordinates, over 70 images, and an interactive map. So if this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click Checkout. This window will appear where you can enter in all your information and then continue through the checkout process. Once the $499 deposit has been received, we'll take the property off the market. We'll send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement and arrange for the balance of payment. The $499 deposit is credited towards the purchase price and we cover all the closing costs. The remaining balance can be paid via wire transfer, cashier's check, you could even put it on a credit or debit card if you like. We make the whole process super easy and it can be completed in as little as a day. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. You can also contact us through this form on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And as always, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and sharing this information on our website with all your family, friends, and colleagues. And may God bless you with health and prosperity.